Hey everyone, continue our modulus, we'll be looking at the quadratic equation. So let's say we have the quadratic equation of x squared minus 4x minus 3, or rather plus 3, alright? We then factorize it, you'll get x minus 3 and x minus 1, and let's just sketch this graph. Let's say we have this as fx. So it's going to intersect that x equals 1 and x equals 0 at the x-axis, so we're just going to draw this graph, alright, and label this as y equals fx. Well, calculate again the y coordinates, I mean the y-intercept, the x-intercept, and the turning point, which we have here would be 0, 3, 1, 0, here will be 3, 0, and our turning point would simply be at 2, basically the midpoint of 1 and 3, sub in x equals to 2, you get 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3, which will give us minus 1. From here, well, it's time for us to sketch the modulus graph, and there are two different types of modulus graph you need to know how to sketch. Starting with y equals to mod fx, and of course the other would be y equals to minus mod fx. And I'll also kind of show you the graph of y equals to f mod x. Alright, so let's begin with this first one, mod fx. Same idea. Basically, whatever you're gonna get positive or zero y values, right? Y, y values either zero or positive. So whatever that's really positive or at zero will remain as it is. But for the negative values, because you add a modulus, you now do the flipping of upwards. As such, the region between x equals to one and three would be reflected by the x-axis and give you this portion instead. All right. So the blue graph along with this stretch of line would give you your graph of y equals to mod fx. All right, and of course, turning point will now be 2, comma 1. Basically, the reflection of your turning point is the same x coordinate but the different y coordinate. Now, for the y minus f or model y minus y equals to minus mod fx. Well, I can't speak today as, as usual. So now we're going to get strictly negative values because mod fx is always positive. Then negative of our always positive value or zero would give you a always negative value and zero. So what we're going to do is very simple. Now we keep anything that's negative will remain as negative. Anything that remains as zero remains as zero. So that means the region between one and three would remain as it is. However, for the regions beyond three and less than one, they are all positive initially. And because now we're going to take the modulus of that value and neg negate it by, neg by applying a negative sign, it's going to become negative and as such we need to flip this about the y-axis now. Alright, so it's going to look something like this. Alright, the points of intersection will remain as 1, 0 and 3, 0 because mod of 0 is 0, minus 0 is still 0. Alright, so this will be our graph for y equals to minus mod fx. Now, f mod x. Again, same idea. But now it's applied to your input. Your input is now mod x, which means that it's always positive. Which means that any we just take away all the values that's on the negative side, so we delete this portion down here, and we keep the portion on the right, but we then copy and paste by reflecting about the y-axis. Alright, so the origin we had a graph of y equals to fx, which is just to remind you guys, initially you had like this. So now your graph will look something like this. All right, I'm just going to draw another separate axis because I think it kind of got messy there. So your graph will look something like this now. So what up to the point at 0, 3? But now because all your negative values of x will get the same y value as the corresponding x values, so it will now look something like this. All right, you now label the point. So you have 0, 3 here. Here you have 1, 0, 3, 0. Here you have 2, comma, minus 1. Then after, here you have minus 1, 0, all right, don't, don't put minus 3, remember, minus 1 is bigger than minus 3, so do beware, minus 3, 0, and down here you get minus 2, minus 1, because mod minus 2 will give you 2, and that will give you the corresponding y value, which is minus 1, all right, so this will be our graph of y equals to f mod x, all right, of course, if you want to try to sketch the graph of, let's say, y equals to minus, sorry, y equals to f minus mod x, then you just need to flip this side here and your graph will look something like this all right so all the way to the zero value x equals to zero and then going up like that all right it's just like a pencil or a pen all right that would be the graph of f minus mod 
x. Okay, so there we have the modulus graphs of our quadratic equation.